Hey guys, Cubedoor here, and Superman Lois had some recent Easter eggs in the season 3 premiere. Um, I know I'm a little late, but let me talk about how no matter how much I love them, and they're my favorite Easter egg so far of the entire series. It confirms the existence of these villains in universe and the history that Clark has with these foes, these enemies. Now, will they come back for future storylines? Probably not, but I do appreciate their existence in the brief X-Men Danger Room style holographic fights with jo Jordan. Now, the first one is my favorite, Atomic Skull. Uh, looking badass. Love how he just flies in onto the ground as he prepares for fight. Love the design here and how it translates to live action. There's two versions. Uh, the Albert Michaels one and the Joseph Martin one. I think it might be the Joseph Martin one because realistically it makes the most sense for Superman Lois with the alien shit and how, you know, Joseph Martin has the alien fucking gene origins. Now, I noticed that this live action Atomic Skull has a design similar to DCAU, the DCAU one, like, brought into live action and I really appreciate it, I really like it, I really love the DCAU look and especially the green flames uh, engulfed in the skull and it looks absolutely incredible next villain is titano a super gorilla from the silver age comics and now the inclusion of titano this is now the final completion of all live action dc gorilla villains with gorilla grod and the earth prime errorverse uh ultra humanite from earth the new earth 2 post crisis and uh, Solovar from pre-Crisis Earth 2, you know, The Flash and Gorilla City and that amazing storyline and that fantastic shit and I love how much I love that shit. Uh, last but not least, McKenna Man, who's also another classic Superman villain. And yeah, I really like these inclusions into the show. Really love how they exist in the universe and as much as I wish it was Arrowverse canon, I love this new buildup of this world.